Hey guys, it's Matt from Electric All Wheel. We have the Jetson Haze, which is a 48 volt, 7.5 amp hour, 350 watt rear hub electric bike. I uh, actually got it at Costco and we are going to add a second battery with the handy dandy, our trusty 48 volt, 10 amp hour battery with the Velcro straps and an electric all wheel, 20 amp dual battery discharge balance kit. It's got a similar setup to electrics and the folding uh, aspect. And then there is a plate with the five pin connectors. So we anticipate something very similar to that as we get into this. So without further ado, here we go. All right, so we're gonna look for the connector at the battery plate. And I'm just gonna cut off this heat shrink and see what's going on. Be very careful not to cut your wires. All right, perfect. There is our XT60. This smaller one is the charging cable for the port that's on the side of the frame of the bike, so we're okay with that. What it will end up doing is charging only the frame battery that came with the bike, and then we will put the dual battery discharge balancer will connect here. Looks like we're gonna be able to slip it right up in the side here, so shouldn't have much of an issue. So we're gonna run the cables up through the frame from the back side. We need to make sure that we have the right end come into the housing. So you're gonna look for your battery end ports here, and then make sure that this end that is actually a female end, but looks like a male end for the Plastic XT60, can plug into one of the battery end ports on your balancer. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and take my two, I'm gonna take my two cables and then plug them in to get full extension. go and then I found that the best practice is to come over the top of the wires through the port. So I'm just going to lay that down. So now I'm just going to unplug my battery plate, plug in my dual battery discharge balancer. There's really no way to mess it up. And then the last cable for plug in is the second battery off of the cable we just ran. Now that I know that none of the factory battery is hooked up, I'm going to take our recommended 48 volt 10 amp hour battery and we are going to test out 
power function. Yes, it is still folded in half. All I'm looking to do is see if the power comes on, and it does. And then we'll go ahead and give it some throttle. And then we know that that is from the hookup here with the uh, second recommended 48 volt battery. So we got power through our balancer. So we know everything is good there. Let's just go ahead and get this thing buttoned up. For this application, we're gonna take the controller, slip it back in, and then just put the balancer right beside it. So now what we'll do is we will unplug the recommended battery and we're just going to fold this bike back up and then test that everything's working. All right, that's just the factory battery. So you can see that hooking it up to the backside is actually better so you can get this last Velcro strap. Uh, you are not limited to this battery, so do not feel like this is the only one that will work. It is not you can put any 48 volt battery you have, just make sure that it has the XT60 connections. All right, there you have it. We have a dual battery 48 volt Jetson Haze with the 48 volt 10 amp hour recommended battery that we generally use. You are not restricted to this battery. You can get any 48 volt battery you want. We just recommend this because of the Velcro straps and it's ease with versatility on a lot of different bikes that we hook up the electric all wheel dual battery discharge balance kits. We'll have this ready to go. You'll see it on the website. Check the description below in the YouTube video for uh, recommendations for the kit and the battery itself. Remember, you're not restricted. Any amp hour combination will do. Uh, you can add a 30 amp hour, 48 volt battery if you want to. You just gotta find the right placement for it. We're hoping to get some extended range out of this bike. 
and we hope that whoever is going to end up with this Jetson Haze enjoys the extended long range capabilities that are provided by the electric all wheel dual battery discharge balance kit. Check out the description below. Give us a like and subscribe. And if you haven't already, check out our Facebook page, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. We'll talk to you next time.